The sunny south is calling. That's every man's dream to have vacation in that wonderful sand on those wonderful warm beaches. So that's the painting we will put on the canvas today, what you see right there. Okay? The magic of oil painting is made possible by a grant from Aaron Brothers Art Marts. Isn't that fantastic being on that beautiful sand beach? So let me show you how we would put that on this canvas. Nothing is on it now. So uh, space it in your mind first. So, uh, it was a time when I measured and we did on. Today I don't do it anymore. I just uh, space it roughly and fire it in. So we have a happy sky there, more like a turquoise sky, a southern sky. I will use uh, the kind of viridian or what you call that, uh, oh, I forget those names always of that uh, paint. It's a turquoise color, what you see here. You see how I put it on? <clears throat> Halo green, now it gets in my mind. Oh, you know, when you're getting older, you forget. You can't <laughs> use the paint so much. But it is a happy color, actually, when you see it here. You see? There. <clears throat> and start off from the, from the top down, like we do always, just we create the depth there. <clears throat> but instead, leaving the white, I will use a touch of yellow. A touch of yellow in that. Now, let me see. See, a touch of yellow there, and you bring it up. Because white is on the canvas, the magic white is on. I never, I'm sorry when I didn't mention that, because I always put the magic white on before, and the canvas is wet. You see, the canvas is always wet. And so I mix now with that yellow and the turquoise color there, and I get a kind of a southern, <clears throat> happy, warm, a warm, warm sky there, you see. Good, so we don't have to fill around anymore. The next step will be, next comes next. First we paint the underbrush, all the trees in the back. And I choose a warmer color. We use the same Taylor green. <clears throat> look, look how I take it off again. Maybe we always should do that in between. Taylor green and a touch of Prussian blue, make it a bit darker. <clears throat> and a touch of Alizarin crimson into that too. See, that makes it a bit warmer or, or and uh, now start off from the highest trees. We say there is a high tree, and you know those those southern trees. I am not living there, and uh, I cannot get used to that. I think when you live in an icy con con country, we have our trees. I always think our trees are better. <laughs> I shouldn't say like that, <clears throat> because what you are used to, I think that's the whole thing. But then you have to paint them sometime. See perspective, and I let them go down, let them go down, let them go down, let them go down. See, and then that's all, I call it background music. See, it gets lighter, darker, darker, darker as you come forward. And that's the way you do it. Then <laughs> fill the whole thing up now. Light will be always shown on dark. If you have dark, you have light. That's a funny talk either. Either, neither, neither. Uh, uh, in my classes, we have only so much percentage of color, of light in our paint. In order to show light, you have to have dark. <clears throat> then the light shows up. Okay. See, I, I just prepared the background here. All upside down, downside up. See how easy it is? Next comes next. I only can paint on that because I have to have that dark. And leave it, leave it like 
open, not uh, plugged in. Leave it all open. Okay, I would like to put a bit more dark in the water, a bit more darker there. Okay, good. Maybe here I limber it up a little bit, limber it up a little bit. It became too blocky. Touch of yellow would be nice. Limber it up a little bit there, there, there. Okay. The next step will be, I already have prepared the whole canvas. The next step will be, I put the palm trees in. So it will look like white and yellow. I use a smaller brush for this. You can use the knife, you can use anything if you want. But in order to make it fast here, have one tree crooked, one tree is straight, one tree is overlapping that tree. See, and you just fire it in like that. Just fire it in like that. Next tree here, the next tree there, the next tree there, the next tree there. There, 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 whatever you want. <coughs> again and again until you have all the trees you think. Until you have all the trees you think. See, if you are closer, if you paint it closer, then the trees will be bigger and more, uh, you can, you put more care into that. But in that distance here, you just see uh, white tree trunks or light tree trunks. Now I have to fiddle around with tree trunks there. And you want to see so many anyway. Okay, there's one, there's one, there's one, one there's one, there's one. See, already it start getting alive. Put the whole thing right into the water too. Put it right into the water too, you see? Every tree, push it right into the water. See? Don't be very fussy. Right into the water there too. See? All right. Now the next step will be, the next step, if you make a mistake as a sample, sometimes your hand is going like this. You see here, I got two trees there, and I got now trees on top. Then add the other tree right on top. I just like to talk about it because in my classes, when people made a mistake, or one of my students made a mistake, oh God, it was a big riot going on. Then I say, my God, you made a mistake, fix it up on top, and then it's no mistake. <clears throat> you cannot make mistakes. There's no such thing make, making mistakes. And then some people are very fussy. They think it got to be, it got to be like that. Oh my God. And if you really see trees come and go, disappear, and that's all it is. Now, the next step, I will use my fan brush and I will, I will put more sunshine in there. See, I will highlight certain spots, as sample there, there. You see, and with the fan brush, it, it does a devil of a good job. See, then the sun hits certain trees harder and less and more and, and just give them just some sun spots. It can be on the bottom, it can be on top. See, and that, uh, all of a sudden, it comes alive now. <clears throat> you must think that the sun is behind here, and through the leaves and branches, it pops up here, it pops up there, it pops up there, it lights up there, it lights up a bush, it lights up a tree trunk. So first, let the tree trunks be a little bit darker. See? Works easy. You can have a tree shown there, or there, or there. They're hiding behind, they come out from behind that brush there. It's 
see? And that gives you light. That argosan lights up uh, whatever he wants to do there. <coughs> See how nice it looks already? It's just so much common sense. That whole, that whole painting business is so much common sense. You can work with not common sense if you, yeah? No, I better not talk about it. You heard a lot of people, everyone has his own ideas about what. One is running the worms over the canvas. The other is shoveling the bikes over the canvas. The other takes the elephant tail and he smears the canvas up too. And they're all great artists. <coughs> so whatever you want, whatever you think is the best, take it. See, there you are. Little highlighting here and there. Ah, that's beautiful. OK, the next step will be you put the top on the trees. So we will, we will use uh, a little crimson, <coughs> Taylor green, and we just push it off like this. See? Now that what takes time all the time, you know, just to to get that roughly in the way you think it should be. In the distance, see? Maybe here one, there one, there one. You know, I hate to work on things like an assembly line <coughs> that makes it bad, really. But you have to do it when you paint, especially when you paint grapes or okay. Well, anyway, it will come to life. It will come to life. Like that. Maybe here we bring one up quite high. Naturally, if we come closer, then we would have to do something more. You can do that. There's no problem. There's no problem. See, and when you're finished with all those uh, tops there, bang, 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 bang. I'm not used to those kind of trees. But I like to be there. See? Mm -hmm. Just add somewhere other Wherever behind in front, there's one popping up again. Oh, make it bigger there already because you are closer. See, and as you come closer, everything goes bigger. Perspective, right? 
Oh, God, sure. Make him bigger. See? Now you can highlight those. First, we highlight the back, the whole background, yellow, sunshine. See sunshine, put sunshine in there, in the back there, there a little bit, there a little bit. Pops up here, pops up there. See, let the sun pop up forever in the bush there. See, already a lot of sunshine comes in there. Now we will highlight those <coughs> tops on the palm trees. Give them a bit of sunshine too, like this, like this. Now let the sun hit them there and there. Always from the sunny side. See, that makes it nice. Ah, it's from the sunny side. But against the light, light on light is not too good. Try to work it out so that it uh, is still shown there. <coughs> yeah. See? Now here you can make it better shown in, against the dark. Hey, that makes it nicer. Now we get finished with that, that kind of a thing. So the next step I will do, you don't have to highlight all of them because some are in the shadow of the other big tree and, and some not. And so you just highlight what you think it would show better and that's it. That is it. The next step will be you can, you can use this brush if you, or you can use the knife. Let's use the knife for that. <coughs> Yellow and white and you run in almighty sand beach almighty sand beach there ah like that the almighty sand beach yellow and white that's what i use right now Yellow and white. I'll make it a nice white beach. Because <coughs> we need a lot of room there. Okay. Make it perspective right. Pull it out as wide as you can, as wide as you can, a lot of room. Uh -huh. See, like that. Now the next step will be, I use my fan brush and you put a bit more dark in the background now here, a bit more dark there, see. Taylor green is a nice, nice 
nice warm color. See it? Push it up like that. There we are. And as you come forwards, you can add a little bit of uh, Elysian Crimson into that. You see, it gives you more dark. Something like this. All right. And you can, if you want to, bring that a bit more. That same color you can run on the bottom end there a little bit. Uh -huh. Like this. See? Here we will make it a bit darker. That gives us a better, better curve there. So now we use our big brush, the almighty brush, clean, wash your brush. Make sure you have a dry brush and you pull it down. See how you pull it all down nicely? All the lines coming down like this. <clears throat> and then you just straighten it out like this. Okay. And now already you got your Sand beach there. Now the next step will be you, you, you. Let's have some shadow movements. Those palm trees, they give you shadow movements on the beach there. And that will bring it out so much more. See, something like this. Yeah, something like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, something like this. Yeah, and you do it over the whole long beach, long that uh, whole sand, all that sand has nice, because you have the sun in the back and it draws beautiful little happy shadows over that beach there. It's still the early morning. Okay. There we are, there we are. The next step will be you have a little lazy wave in front of it. You can use a touch of white there. You create a kind of a lazy. Sometimes you see a lazy water movement there. See? That makes it nice. It's always a nice feeling, that little bit of up and down on the water there. You can have a bit more here. Maybe the other roll in the back there. See, now <coughs> the next step, you brush everything up the way you think it should be. There will be one tree, I leave it right in the front. See, by going over, you, you I leave a lot of trees in the back and a lot of co coming in the front now. You see how I do it? Bring just certain trees you think they should be in front of it. Bring it in the front. Now you can see they're standing behind each other, next to each other, and, <clears throat> and that's the way you do it. Maybe here this one we bring in the front and maybe here a bit more highlight, there a bit more highlight. Just brush it up, Sp spend your time. I don't have the time then you got home. I have to get that painting done in time here. But the idea is there. See, you know, the depth that would be with other type of trees, the same thing. If I have a field and I set my trees in there, I do it the same way. I have one first, I, the way you saw me doing it. 
that means you have a depth of trees now. Some is coming up like this, and, and maybe that one we bring forwards too, right to the sand beach. And so <coughs> and if you want, you can strengthen it a bit more in the water here and there, like this one. See, was a bit too there. See? And we get that painting together. We get that painting together. And in no time, in no time, you have it done. So I show you a technique. No, naturally, when that painting is dry, I would go over that and, and add whatever I think it should be done better. See, it's a lot of things you cannot add when it's, uh, when it's wet. Let that be dry, and then there's no problem there. Let it be dry. Now I use my big brush, cut that out here, see? Cut that still down, and brush it out nicely. See, there we are. And happy, happy <coughs> beach scene is finished. You like it? I thank you for watching me. <coughs>